Hey, best friend! Are you ready to get your ass kicked in Smash Bros. again? I got snacks and cider, so get out here and plug your switch in. My fingers are itching for some game time. <whistles> Someone's looking rather dapper. You clean up real good. Yeah, I let myself in. I know you gave me a key for emergencies, but I wanted to surprise you, because I thought, like me, you also had no plans this fine Friday night. But judging by the fact that you actually made an effort, you have plans. <gasps> you have a date? I don't believe it. Sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Of course I think you could get a date. I just always thought you weren't interested in dating anyone. I know you mentioned it a while back, that there was a girl you liked, but she wasn't interested in you. Is it her? Not her? Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. I see. So this is like a blind group date of sorts that one of your friends from class helped set up? They said this girl has similar interests as you, and they invited you after the date was already arranged, so you didn't really have a choice, huh? So, which friend might this be? The one who organized the group date. I mean, just out of curiosity. Oh, I don't know her. That's a her. That's another surprise. For some reason, I thought I was your only female friend. You don't look so good. You're really flushed and you can't stop fidgeting with your hands. This is your first date since you started college. Right. Wow, so this is your first date in like over three years. I can understand why you're nervous. The last girl you went out with would have been your high school girlfriend, right? And that relationship ended pretty bad. I guess it's your lucky day. Your best friend is here to help you prepare for this big date. Now strip. Yeah, you heard me right. Strip. Take off your clothes, get undressed. I don't know how many more ways to explain this. You're sweating through your shirt right now. You gotta throw those clothes in the laundry, have a shower, and then we need to douse you in with any perspirant. Before we get into any of that, should we talk? I think we should. Come on, it'll help your nerves if you talk to me about it. I may be able to give you some advice. Here, come sit next to me on the couch. I promise I won't tease you or make fun of you. You're my best friend. You've always been there for me. It's my turn to be there for you. Even if it hurts. Huh? Oh, nothing. I didn't say anything. I was just muttering to myself. Wow. Now that you're right next to me, I can see you've soaked through your shirt. Take it off. You're probably feeling uncomfortable in it, right? It's fine. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You can take it off. So hot. Uh, nothing. I said you look hot because you're sweating a lot. Okay, just let it out. Tell me why you're feeling so nervous about this date. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. I understand. Mm hmm. Wait, what? You've never kissed a girl before? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to blurt it out like that. But you had a girlfriend in high school that you were seeing for a while, right? Did you two ever. That bitch. All the shit she put you through and she never let you kiss her? And then she cheated on you? No wonder you've kept away from relationships all this time. S sorry, I'm getting off track. So you're nervous because you don't really have any experience being physical with a girl. I see. That's a bit of a conundrum. This might seem a bit extreme, but... 
what if I were to teach you how to kiss? If you knew how to kiss, then maybe you wouldn't be so nervous on your date. This is the only thing I can think of that might help to ease your nerves. We can think of something else if you're not comfortable. Oh, you're okay with me teaching you. Hopefully this goes better than when I tried to teach you how to squat properly in the gym. First things first, lean in closer to me. Closer, closer. I want you to get into my face. You gotta have fresh, kissable breath. <laughs> breath always smells like mint. We chew way too much gum, but that's a positive for kissing. I'd suggest you don't chew any gum about an hour before your date, though. You don't want your breath to be too minty. Also, make sure to avoid any dishes that are heavy in garlic or onions. Trust me, that is not a good experience. How many guys have I kissed? That's kind of a personal question. Oh, no, you don't have to apologize. I guess you would be curious how much experience the person teaching you has. To be honest, not that many. Anyway, back to the lesson. You've got to set the mood. If you're going to kiss her, you should do it somewhere a bit private so there's no peeping toms around and you're comfortable. For the purposes of this lesson, we can use your couch as a place the kiss will take place. Just remember, both of you have to want to kiss. You can't force her, and she can't force you. When you're ready, you should move closer to her. Maybe you could put your arm around her to pull her close. Come on, put your arm around me. Don't worry about it. It'll be a nice touch if you brush her hair away from her face. I know my hair isn't that long, but you can try it. Yeah, just like that. Now you just have to maneuver yourself until your face is just inches from hers. You're doing good. You didn't even need me to tell you to do it. It's important to maintain some eye contact and smile to show you're into it. You should wrap your arms around her waist. Just like that. I'm gonna wrap my arms over your shoulders and behind your neck. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is just like a slow dance. From here, there's nothing left to do but kiss. Uh huh. What? Oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I, I guess I got so caught up in teaching you that I almost did kiss you. I'm fine. I was just a bit startled when you pulled away like that, but I understand. You wouldn't want your first kiss to be with someone like me. Hmm? What do you mean that's not it? I don't understand. What would be too hard? It... It would be too hard to get over me if we kissed. I... I know the girl you liked who wasn't interested in you. Why? Why would you say that? Why would you think I wasn't interested in you? Because I freaked out that time someone asked if we were dating? <sighs> I thought I was embarrassed to have people think we were dating. I remember that day as well. The reason I freaked out was because I also had feelings for you. I didn't want to scare you off, so I tried to play it cool, but clearly that didn't work, and I freaked out. It's sad and hilarious that we're both crazy about each other, but caught in our own heads and we're too scared to say anything. Now I'm here trying to prepare you for a date that you should have been having with me. With me! The one who actually loves you, not some random blind date. Huh? What are you doing? You... you still love me? 
Oh, did you just say love? Oh, right. Technically, I did just admit to being in love with you first. <laughs> you know, I just taught you how to kiss and you ignored all of it and just grabbed me and smushed your lips into mine. I guess I have to give you more practical lessons on kissing. <laughs> Remember what I said. Your hands on my waist and my arms around your shoulder. Honestly, I said that because that's how I always imagined kissing you. You should probably call and cancel your blind date. Please be nice and apologize.